the PFA awards were held and of course the outcome of these awards was very simple uh, to find the team of the year player of the year and the young player of the year fantastic now i want to focus on where arsenal was able to thrive the most where we got the most awards out of these pfa awards and this is on the team of the year if you take a look on the team of the year they chose a, a number of players and uh, arsenal was able to get uh, david dreyer with the magical gloves as the goalkeeper of that team of the year and he really deserves it because uh, last season he was able to have the most clean sheets and he even took the golden gloves with him so congratulations to david dreyer we also uh, were able to uh, uh, get saliba to be picked rolls royce the one and only saliba we call him the rolls royce uh, a defender with class was able to be chosen as uh, one of the team of the year on the pfa awards we also had gabriel megales i call him the land rover the man who does the job eh? the that the dirty job eh? the man with strength he was able to be chosen as uh, one of the defenders on the pfa team of the year they also chose uh, Declan Rice, the super midfielder, the perfect midfielder, he was chosen uh, on the PFA team of the year and he deserves it. Uh, you can tell from the most games that uh, Declan Rice was able to play for us and what he was able to do for us is Arsenal the entire of last season. Very, very competitive and very, very encouraging to Arsenal supporters and fans and even uh, his colleagues, the players. They were also able to choose <clears throat> the one and only, the, mag the magician, the magical boy, the man with the class, the man with tactics, the man with passes, the man with assists and goals, the one and only, our captain Odegaard was chosen as amongst the players on the PFA team of the year. Others, of course, that were chosen, there was uh, Van Dijk, which... I would say it really, he really deserved it also. They also were able to choose Walker on the PFA team of the year as one of the uh, uh, right backs. Um, they were also able to choose Rodri. I would say yes, Rodri. You can only imagine a combination of Rodri, Rodri and Declan Rice. That would be very perfect. They also were able to choose Haaland and Foden and Watkins were also on that PFA team of the year. In total and the overview that I'm gonna give out of this, Arsenal was able to get five players out of this, followed by Man City. Man City had, uh, Man City had uh, Walker, they also had uh, Rodri, Haaland and Foden. So four players Man City was able to get. Watkins who is uh, from Aston Villa and of course uh, Van Dijk is a Liverpool player. So this one tells you one thing for sure and for a fact that Arsenal is still a, at a very good position to be able to even carry this EPL. If only we were able to add and we are um, able to add maybe a striker and a couple of wingers on our squad and maybe a, a couple of midfielders then would be very competitive and the outcome of this is going to be us carrying that EPL and even maybe the champion the Champions League you never know because if you take a look at uh, that PFA team of the year we have five players Man City has four players on that PFA team of the year so that one tells you the competition will and still will be amongst the two teams Man City and Arsenal but still, if Arsenal was able to revamp their squad and get more players, then we'd have a better chance of winning this EPL this coming season. But the competition, as you can see and can tell, is not an easy competition. We are competing against, against a team that is almost perfect. Yet, we have given them competition for the last two seasons. So this season, we are hoping that uh, Ateta, before the end of this transfer period is able to bring either a striker and for this case for me my opinion would be either Gokeres and then maybe a midfielder Marino of course we are we is highly being linked with Arsenal and get two wingers one to support uh, Saka and maybe the other one uh, just to support uh, on the left wing and then we'll say easily say that we are almost a complete team that can be able to carry that EPL so let's wait and see and once again I want to say congratulations to every Arsenal player that was chosen on the PFA team of the year this can only mean one thing that you guys as our as our players you are doing 
the right thing and a good job. Congratulations.